Hello, well it's Tony here again. Um, I've got another panel to show. Um, rattling through a few of these now that I've got uh, or I had a bit of a backlog with. Got a couple more to show after this one and then I think I'll be reasonably up to date other than uh, what I'm currently working on. So, uh, But that's another one nearly finished so uh, maybe there'll be two or three more. Uh, at least for the moment and then uh, uh, I'm looking for um, yeah maybe a bit of inspiration in terms of uh, what uh, aircraft to tackle after the one I'm currently doing. So uh, without further ado I guess we'll crack on with this one. We're in the uh, Gips Aero GA8. Uh, you may or may not uh, recognize that, not everybody knows uh, the aircraft, it's a utility aircraft designed and built in Australia and um, I made a panel for it. This is only a, this is not a, a fancy aircraft by any stretch of the imagination. It's one of the um, X aviation ones, so picked it up for really cheap. Um, not interested in the uh, the 3D model at all, really. Um, doesn't look too bad from the outside. The panel is uh, pretty atrocious. Um, doesn't look too uh, clever. Let's just have a quick look at that. There we go. Pretty uh, dull and boring and uh, flat and horrible. But we don't look at that because we've got an Air Manager instrument panel. So um, we can uh, we can bring up our nice Air Manager instrument panel with a couple of nice uh, GTNs. That gives it a nice uh, spruce up. And uh, I've even got a button on the panel here to uh, get rid of that and uh, set my view for me so yeah pretty much uh, ready to go already um, partially f fired up here uh, partly we could do it to get the GTNs uh, up and running so we'll just uh, we'll carry on we'll stick that uh, fuel in good flow is good warning lights are all working Mixture for rich. Up brake on. Ready on the brakes. Clear prop. Today. We're in the Philippines, so uh, hot and steamy. Let's uh, set our fuel. I know we're on half tanks. If I can remember how to do this, um, this thing. Um, looking at down at the uh, the fuel flow um, or the fuel computer here. Um, I think it's. 166 which is half tanks which is what we've got yeah Step, there we go yep 166 remaining so um no i will set it on auto it scans around all the parameters we haven't put a flight plan if we put a flight plan in we'd get the, the, the last two uh Toggling around as well, but you need a flight plan in there for that, and we're not going to uh, mess about uh, with the flight plan today. We're just going to uh, go and have a little fly in this uh, this GA and have a look at the panel. So familiar instruments to uh, what we've seen in some of the other uh, panels before. I might do a variant of this with the Aspen actually, because uh, I know some of these did have uh, Aspens in them, and later on the uh, G500. Um, but both the older G500 and the new TXI uh, variant, some of these uh, aircraft have got. So, um, yeah, I might do a, might do one with the Aspen in, uh, perhaps. Uh, but this has got more of a traditional uh, six-pack in it. A couple of uh, CDIs for the two uh, GTNs there, and a uh, uh, King autopilot. Even got the uh, overhead panel. Um, done there it's on a little uh, pop-up so we can control our masters avionics uh, I didn't put the strokes on did I no um, we'll stick those landing lights on as well 
else, we're not going to bother with Pito. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll click on through the GTNs here. System test OK. Yeah, so, um, see uh, analog uh, engine instrumentation on that. Again, I know some of these uh, aircraft were fitted with um, digital engine monitors, but this particular variant is. Um, Probably more traditional with uh, with the analog instrumentation. So um, we've got a couple of fuel gauges and uh, bolts amps. Just take a look at the bolts. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Get parking brake off. Yes, so there's oil temp, oil pressure, CHT, and that fuel uh, scan instrument, an EGT. As you can probably tell, back in X plane this time. And I've got another X plane uh, panel as well. Probably coming up. Then I'm working on another multi one. Okay. Temperatures and pressures in the green. In the green. 25 outside, yeah. Okay then, let's get underway. Being serious, just uh Fun, just so we can see some of the instruments working. Next plane, that's like to squirrel on the one way. Luckily, this bird gets 
us up nice and lively. As I said, it doesn't need hardly any runway. That's the Gibbs Aero GA8 uh, instrument panel. Uh, I haven't flown it for a while actually, this aircraft. The um, panel's been done for absolutely ages and I just haven't got around to uh, showing it. I've been messing about with some di different variants of right hand side panels. So I've, got, I've got one with the GNS is in it. Uh, I've got one that's just a complete uh, Bendix King Stalling. Uh, other variants as well. As I said, I might do another left hand side panel with an Aspen in it. That would be a really quite easy uh, change to implement. Uh, and maybe a different autopilot, perhaps. That's the, that's the view of air manager. You can, you can pick and choose. But there's the basics of the panel, uh, the, the, the actual panels themselves, the, the back uh, panel graphics. You can just lay the instruments into those uh, instrument holes. You can see I've got a spare one here on the right hand side panel. Um, oh yeah. Um, you can really get up to uh, Oh, 
height, but I won't sidetrack. Um, And as with all my panels, this is uh, nighttime dimmable as well, so we can uh, it, it will gradually get darker as uh, it gets darker outside, and then you can uh, use the, uh, the dimmers over here, knobster enabled uh, instrument lights, radio lights, and, and overhead lights. Yeah, so that's the GAA. at some point. I may have uh, used the thing part of it in one of the panels when I was showing the GTM before, but this was what it was. This was part of uh, this, this panel. Um, and as I said, I've got a couple of a couple more, uh, I think it's a couple more X-Plane ones uh, probably to show off. And then um, I'm almost finished. I've probably got about three more instruments to uh, do um, for another dual sim, so Microsoft Fly Sim and X-Plane um, panel. aircraft uh, in both the sims. I'll leave you guessing as to what that might be. Anyway, enough of this. Thanks for watching. Short video this time. Um, probably be about a week or so and then uh, I'll perhaps uh, post another one uh, of uh, one or two of the other panels. See you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.